Hello, my name is Johnny Keck. I'm a representative from AMP Futures. And in this segment of our video tutorial series for, series for multicharts.net, we're going to take you through the steps on how to place trades off the actual order execution dome, also known as depth of market, a very popular way in placing trades using multicharts.net. So we're going to take you through the steps on how to place an order, how to modify an order, how to cancel an order, and then we'll move on to the next segment of our series. So as you can see on the screen at this moment, you see that I currently have a trading dome populated. We're looking at the June mini S&P contract. And let me just go ahead and change my broker profile real quick. In the previous video, we've already covered the functions that are available on the actual dome itself. So now we're going to begin showing you how to use those particular functions. So the first thing that I want to let you know is it, one thing that I like about multicharts.net is uh, it's very easy to execute trades. And what I mean is there's only one button. Uh, well, there are two ways of placing trades. However, I'm going to show you my preference, the first way that I feel is going to be the most user-friendly. It's basically it's just going to be one button that you have to focus on. It's going to be a left click with your mouse. So as long as you're utilizing the left click, you're going to be able to place trades very easily. And then the next step is you want to determine whether you want to buy or sell. So if you want to buy, for example, you want to click in the blue column, the buy column. If you want to sell, you want to click in the red sell column. And just be sure to click next to the specific price that you want to place the order at. So for example, if I want to place a buy limit at 2058, then I'm going to have to identify the buy column next to the price of 2058. And I'm going to left click with my mouse. And now you can see the order has been applied. Now, previously I disabled order confirmation. So let me go ahead and turn that back on real quick so I can show you what that order confirmation looks like. And let me show you if, if, if you're wondering if you've already disabled confirmations and you're wondering how to turn them back on. You're going to go back to your multi-charts interface. You're going to go to File. You're going to go to Preferences. And the next step is you're going to want to click on the Trading tab right here. And just make sure you go ahead and check Require Order Confirmation. Now that I have that checked, I'm going to click OK. And now we'll just minimize the interface and we'll go back to the dome. Now if I go to place a trade, so let's say this time I want to place a sell limit at 2064. So I'm going to left click in the sell column next to 2064. There's the confirmation. Would you like to place this order? And then I'm going to go and leave it on for now. Of course, if you do want to turn it off, now by default, when you use the dome for the very first time, this confirmation will automatically be enabled. So if you want to turn it off, just make sure you hit do not ask me again. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I, I'm a fan of efficiency, so I, I don't want to be asked a second time when submitting trades. So I'm going to go ahead and just check that option, hit yes. And now you can see the order has been placed. All right, so when I say you only have to worry about one button, which is a left click with your mouse, that is because multicharts.net has the auto detect function, which what that means is there can only be certain order types that can be placed on certain sides of the market. So for in this, in this instance, at this moment, market's currently trading at 2061 and a quarter. If I were to place an order at 2064, the only order type that can be placed at that price level based on where the market's trading at this moment would be a sell limit at 2064 or a buy stop at, at 2064. That is the only order type that can be placed at that price level. Now, you have with other platforms, when you go to place a stop order or you go to place a limit order, you have to make sure that you specify and select those specific order types prior to you placing the trade. The one thing that I like about Multicharts Dome is there's an auto detect function, which means that the platform knows that there can only be certain order types that can be placed on certain sides of the market. So point being, no matter where I click, so in this case, if I click on the buy side at 2064, notice that the platform automatically designated that to a stop order, which is represented by the STP. Now, if I click below the market price of 2061, if I click at 2058, for example, yeah. notice that's automatically a limit order. So there was nothing that I had to do in terms of selecting a specific order type. I didn't have to middle mouse click to place a stop order. I didn't have to right click. All I did was just left click in the appropriate buy or sell column next to the specific price that I want to input the order. And the platform automatically detected that that order type was the valid order type. So no matter where I'm clicking, as you can see, left clicking, the platform will know what kind of order I'm placing. And so this is, I'm a big fan of that. I've been in the business for a very long time and I've seen so many times, I've, I've lost count how many times I've seen customers place the incorrect order type on the wrong side of the market and they will get immediately filled and that's not something that you want. All right, so I'm gonna go and cancel these orders out. 
Now, in terms of canceling the order, you can either left-click on the X to cancel the order, a specific order. If you want to cancel all working buys only, you can click the X that is on the left side here on the buy side. Or if I want to cancel any working cells, I can click on the X on the right side on the working cell column. Or if I want to click or cancel all working orders with this one click, I can use this cancel all button right here at the bottom. So if I hit cancel all, that's going to cancel all working orders at the same exact time. All right, so that's first step. That's how you place an order. Simple as that. Just a left click. Click anywhere you wish, whether you're buying or selling. The main thing is, of course, understanding where to click. Of course, if you're buying, you want to click in the buy column. If you're clicking in the sell column, you want to click in the sell column. Okay, so don't worry about selecting stop or limit order type. The auto detect function will automatically recognize that. So that's how you place trades using one method. That's my preference. Here's another method. You can use the right click. I don't prefer this, this method mainly because it's an additional click, but uh, you could use it if you decide that it's more convenient for yourself. So what I mean, for example, if I right click at 2059 and a half, now you could see the available order types that are valid at that specific price level. So as I mentioned, only a sell stock can be placed below the market price as well. Now there, this, this case, you can place a sell limit. I've never actually tried that. A sell limit is an invalid order type below the market price. So I'm just curious. I'm going to go ahead and try it real quick just to see what happens if it allows me to actually place the order. And it, indeed it did. So that's another reason why I'm not a fan of this particular second option that I'm showing you is because it, it will allow you to place the incorrect order type, which in my opinion is not going to be a good situation, especially if what my intention was to place a sell stop, but instead I actually got filled immediately. And now as you can see, I'm in the position. So I'm going to close this position out real quick. Now the position is closed. Okay, so you could use the right click if you prefer. You can right click. Just be very mindful that you have to make sure you understand you, you're, you're placing the correct order type. Uh, otherwise, if you prefer the left click, then you can go ahead and use that method instead. Uh, but both options are available to you. Now, after you place the order, how do you amend or modify the order? And it's very simple to do that. Let me go ahead and place a simple buy limit at 2060. I'm going to left click in the buy column next to 2060. I can visibly see the order working. You'll see that there's going to be an abbreviation for the order type. So LMT is going to be limit. STP will be stop order. Now, if I want to modify the order, all I have to do is left click on the actual order itself. A little tip, if you notice that when my mouse cursor is, is not hovered over the working order, it's a regular cursor. But however, when I hover my mouse cursor over the working order, you'll see that cursor turn into a little hand icon. So when it turns into a hand icon, my next step is I'm going to left click with my mouse, hold down the left click, and I'm going to simply drag the order to the new amended price that I want to modify it to. So in this case, I'll move it from 2060 to 2058. You can see a little transparency in where the order is going to be moved to. I'm going to release the left click, and now you can see the order has been moved. So that's a left click, hold, drag, and drop. Left click, hold, drag, and drop. And that's how you modify orders, okay? So left click to place the order, left click, drag, and drop to modify the orders. And then left click on the X to cancel the order, or you can hit cancel all. And that's pretty much how you place trades on the actual multi charge dome. The next segment, we're going to get you into uh, the segment of how to uh, track fill prices, how to read your open positions, and how to and where, where to go to see working orders, and as well as account summary information. Thanks, you guys, for, for tuning in. We'll see you in the next uh, segment.